Today in Draw My Life, the fiery fatality leads us to commemorate the history of Notre Dame. Paris, 1163. Bishop Maurice de Sully places the first stone of the Notre Dame Cathedral, dedicated to Virgin Mary on La Ile de la Cité at the edge of the Seine. Due to the good economic situation Paris had at the time, the works in the cathedral lasted little more than a century. By 1260, it was almost finished, and in 1345 the works came to an end. Although it has gone through quite a few modifications during its eight centuries of history, Notre Dame leads the transition from Romanesque to Gothic architecture. This new style reflects the new Catholic morals. The Notre Dame Cathedral crowned Paris with its two towers, its colourful 10-metre diameter rosette, three porticos and its marvellous sculptures protecting the main façade. The inside emanates beauty and solemnity thanks to the light coming through the stained glass. During the French Revolution, great part of its elements and treasures were defiled. The sculptures on the façade were destroyed and buried. During this time, the cathedral was used to store food. After the Revolution, in 1804, Notre Dame witnessed Emperor Napoleon's consecration. In the mid-19th century, hoping to restore what was lost during the revolution, the cathedral went through some restorations. They rebuilt the statues and added new parts, such as the famous needle. The gargoyles were added during these restorations and were based on Victor Hugo's novel Our Lady of Paris from 1831. It tells the story of Hunchback Quasimodo, who lives in the Southern Tower next to the Emmanuel Bell. In 1871, during the Paris Commune, the cathedral was once again witness of social turbulences. In fact, it came really close to being burned. After suffering in silence all the misfortunes of the 20th century, it was declared a World Heritage Site. Paris, 15th of April 2019. Hundreds of people gather around the Notre Dame as the merciless fire feeds on centuries of history. Flames coming from inside the cathedral, burning the ceiling and tearing down the famous needle. Almost all the relics were saved and the facade still stands, watching as the bystanders stare at her in sadness. As Victor Hugo said, the cathedral wasn't just his friend, it was the universe. Even more, it was nature itself. He never dreamed there were hedges other than the stained glass and continuous bloom, shadows other than the stone foliage ever budding full of birds in the bushes of the Saxon capitals, mountains other than the colossal towers of the church, or oceans other than Paris roaring under his feet. Have you ever been to Notre Dame? Leave in the comment section down below what you like the most. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.